Pennywise pound stupid. The quote used by residents of Parshley Street Extension in Laventil to describe a collapse of the road in an area known as Harlem. He says the collapse of the road could have been avoided. Ian Wayson has more in this report. Residents say this road collapsed about two weeks ago, but the process started about three weeks earlier. Gradually, the land weakened due to the constant leaking of an underground water pipe. The situation accelerated with the increased rainfall in the last few weeks. Franklin Ben, who lives in the area, says the road could have been saved. Pennywise and Pong Foolish. The reason why I say that is because the cost is not to, to, to take in order to repair this. If at the time once I had listened to Pennywise when Pennywise was talking, Pong Foolish would be laughing now. Pong Foolish mean the amount of money I had spent to get this back to something habitable. The area has been plagued with land movement over the years, with repairs being done in the past. Apart from the leaked water main, residents claim the area has natural underground springs that cause further damage. Morgan Lane, as you notice when we're coming up, was done at least four repairs and that took Wasa and contractors in combination. Over the last eight weeks, lots of expenditure but no real resolution to the leaking problem. Owing to the fact that, too, that apart from last, was to leak their water tables throughout a great acreage here. Now, other homes are threatened. Some of them already have structural damage. MSJ leader David Abdullah quoted two reports from a UE study done in 2006, where recommendations were made to improve drainage and other infrastructural work. However, this road needs to be repaired now. What has to happen right away is for the Ministry of Works to allocate resources and to enable contractors in the area, Trevor Nicholas for example and other people have um, small contracting businesses and, and they know the area, they know the work that is to be done, the studies have been done already and to um, construct obviously proper retaining walls, deal with the drainage and, and rebuild, the, rebuild the road. CNews contacted Councillor Adana Gordon-Griffith, who has been working with the Ministry of Works and other agencies since the slippage. The councillor confirmed the road falls under the auspices of the corporation, but the nature of the work requires additional help. She said Wasa did change the line a few years ago, but did not condemn the old one. Work is being done to bring the road back to normalcy. Ian Wason, CNews.